welcome back to Skincare with Ashley, where I help you perfect your skincare needs, every single one of you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new, welcome. It's really, really nice to have you. Why not subscribe and join the family so we can all geek out on skincare together. Today, I'm going to be talking about this Malibu face cream with SPF 50. So if you're interested in knowing what I think, then stick around. If at any point you find that you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and let's get straight into it so it's a chemical sunscreen so that means it's not going to leave a white cast on your skin so in terms of skin complexion it's suitable for everybody now this product i do find it to be a little bit greasy to be honest i am going to show you what it looks like but personally i don't like the shine on it so i definitely think unless you've got dry skin you wouldn't be interested in this product anyway but in terms of you know how moisturizing it is i do think it's fairly moisturizing it is a cream and a sunscreen so two in one but as you can see it's definitely going to leave a shine definitely so it's got a range of different sunscreen actives in including hermosalate and octocrylene hopefully i've said that correctly as well as that, it's got aloe vera, so aloe vera is a humectant, so it's going to help draw moisture into your skin. It's also got skin soothing properties, so it's going to help just calm down your skin. And it's also got vitamin E as well, so vitamin E is an antioxidant, so it's going to help prevent free radical damage from the environment. So you've got the protection of the sunscreen, and you've also got vitamin E as well. Now... It is a broad spectrum, so that means that it's going to cover you with UVA and UVB rays. So the majority of the time, if you just see a sunscreen, it doesn't state that it is broad spectrum, then basically what it is, is it's just going to cover you for UVB rays. So when you see the factor 50, factor 30, whatever it is, and that's all you see on it, it's the UVB rays which actually cause burning. So they're rays that don't actually penetrate deeper into your skin. So more on the surface of your skin. That's when you tan and you get the burning. But in terms of UVA rays, UVA rays actually penetrate deeper into the skin. And that's just going to break down collagen. That's just going to increase your aging. So in the long run, you're going to see the effects of the sun from UVA rays. Another thing about this product that I'm not particularly a fan of is the fact that it really does sting my eyes. Now, I've used quite a few different sunscreens recently, just been testing out, and quite a few of them do sting my eyes, so I'm not sure if I've got extra sensitive eyes or it's just going to be the case with a lot of people. I know sunscreens do sting quite a few people's eyes anyway. This is really bad, seriously. I've used it quite recently a few times and I've tried to, you know, just use a teeny bit around my eyes. It still stings my eyes, so basically I can't use it around my eyes at all. So for that, I wouldn't be repurchasing anyway. Obviously, you want your eyelids to be covered and the skin around your eyes is actually thinner, so it's more likely to age faster. I think if you've got dry skin if you've got no sensitivity issues with sunscreens at all around your eyes maybe you've tried a lot and you know then maybe this will be a decent one for you it is water resistant so that's a good thing so you know it's not going to come off with sweat i don't know i'm just not much for this product um, in terms of it being greasy i think maybe if you've got really dry skin you might find that to be of benefit to you um, and it's nice that it's got aloe vera as well. But I just think if you are prone to sensitivity issues with your eyes, if things sting your eyes, definitely don't buy this. So that's it really. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And in the meantime, my lovelies, keep looking after your skin.